What is up everybody, GGA here and back with some more Bloodborne. Of course, we just started, we just built our character. We have even Steven, as I like to say, his name is even Steven. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were just getting out of Yusefka's clinic, the very first area of the game. Obviously, I was trying to do like last video, a little skip or whatever. I wasted my blood vials basically and yeah, but now we're going to kill this guy we're just gonna play normally um because yeah he's he's just annoying oh wow he's already almost dead see he's that easy ooh and he gave us three blood vials nice he's either he's just really did they dumb him down or something cause I feel like that was way easy for not even having a plus one weapon or anything hmm but yeah, basically, I'll explain the the thing I was trying to do. Well, let's grab this real quick. What is this? Bullets, nice. Um, basically, if you stand right here, there's nothing. All right, if you stand right here and you get him to do his charge attack, which is like where he like leans back and then jumps to grab you. You have to be like a certain range from him for him to to set that attack up. So basically, if he gets like right here, you want to like stand right here and just walk towards the gate. Well, he grabs you and you'll end up clipping through the gate and it's basically you can't even get like past this gate till later on in the game basically skips the whole beginning of the game but we're gonna head into Yarnum um, this is Yosefka's clinic right here pretty dope it's kind of nice to actually look at some of the buildings and be like oh they actually did some cool architecture with it but yeah so Yosefka's clinic we're gonna be heading into Yarnum the streets of Yarnum oh god this is gonna be Pretty crazy, mate. <laughs> ah, beautiful Yarnum. Look at that orange sky. And as you can see, central Yarnum. Uh, is there an item? There's an item right here. Yep. Blood vials. Yes, that's what I need. Well, I guess we don't have to head straight to the back to the dream yet. Usually, we just run through this area. We have no weapon. So, uh. Alright, it's this guy. Come on, man. Oh. I gotta get used to this again. This is locked, right? Yep. We got a big old gate right here. Dude, the sky looks so... Dude, this... Oh, I love how good this game looks. Like, this game just... Aesthetically looks so good. Like, you really feel like you're running around in a freaking... Psycho town and One thing I did learn later on rather than sooner from playing this game was How to use l1 attacks because <laughs> before I would just literally just r1 all the time Transform my weapon which is like that. I forgot to talk about that weapons are trick weapons in this game each one has two different forms and you basically hit l1 or uh, What right bumper? on the xbox or whatever it is on the computer and you can transform so i can have it like this so it's more like a it's kind of almost like a sword or i can have it like this and it's like a close-up but you can also change in the middle of your attack which is what you saw me doing like that but before i would always just r1 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 or i would transform it and then i would just r1 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 <laughs> so that's what i mean by i learned how to play with l1s it makes it a lot better, it builds up your beast bar faster, like, a bunch of stuff. And as you can hear, that does not sound too good. Ooh, nice statues, what are they? Are they panthers? Or is that like a gargoyle? It looks like a panther or something. That HD niceness. Okay. So this is like our bonfire right here. And then we're going to go snap. And I just snap it on, and that's the lamp. So, this lamp now transports you back to the Hunter's Dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. So, yeah, we can go back to the Hunter's Dream with these lamps. And then, if we want to... Like, Bloodborne's kind of weird when it comes to fast traveling, because you have to, like, go to the Hunter's Dream in order to fast travel where you want to go, because the only place that lets you travel to different bonfires is the hunter's dream like if i go here it just takes me straight to the hunter's dream it doesn't let me choose like oh or go to the, to a different bonfire 
I like how they did it in Dark Souls 3. They fixed that big time. But any time you see a red lamp, that means there's someone that can talk to you. This is locked. So we're going to be going right here in a minute. But I'm going to talk to who's ever is coughing in this window. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm nope. Gilbert, a fellow outsider. So the lore you is that you came from a far off land of yeah, unknown I mean, origin type stuff. If you read your clothes in the beginning, well, the, what I'm wearing right now, it tells you that you came from somewhere. I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your mm -hmm. reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Oh, he is not joking. This place is insane, but it's good old Yarnum. Pale blood, you say? Good old Yarnum. Hmm. Never heard of it. Pale blood. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Healing Church? The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep cathedral, cathedral Ward, Healing Ward, Church, the okay. Old Grand Cathedral. The Old Grand the Cathedral. Of the Healing Church's special blood, or so they say. <laughs> okay. Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but... The hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Man, I don't know if it's just because I've never played this with headphones, but the voice acting is so good. Like, everything sounds so good. The voice acting is good. Across the valley to the east, deep within, lies the old... I haven't heard of pale. That's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. Okay. <laughs> So he's obviously, like, sick. He said that the town's come down with a curse. Um, and he's obviously coughing and, like, locked himself inside. Across the deep wind. Okay, that's the same thing. Alright, so we can continue. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got, I think this is some more... Nope, pebbles. Useless! I never use pebbles in this game. There's a guy right here. He's gonna come... Popping out. Okay, one R1 L1 is enough for. No, I wasted that. I hit the wrong button. Okay, I think there's some. Is there, is there guys over here? Oh yeah. Stop! Stop! Ding! Boom! Boom! There we go. And there's yeah, there's a bunch of dudes down there. That God, I gotta remember. This is going to be rough. <laughs> but we can come down right here, I think. Yeah. And we can get a backstab on this boy. And to get backstabbed in this game, you have to do a charged R2 to their back. Or just do a jump attack like an idiot. Wow. Never mind. Got some mollies, and there's a light right here so we can talk. You that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? I love that line. Trot along, will ya? Are you that? Well, so trot along, will ya? Trot along, will ya? So as you can see, some Yarnamites really don't want nothing to do with you because you were sent here to basically kill all the infected people. Like, like... Which are all these guys down here? They're all the people that look like beasts and stuff. They're all infected. But we're gonna need to come down here and be super careful. There we go. That was good. Blood vial. I know there's a lot more guys somewhere. There's another bullet. Let's, let's talk to this person. Because you can see there's a red light. That's your come on. He's open the door on a night of hunt. Away with you now. Alright, is that all you have to say? Yeah, okay. Um, so we want to go this way, but we're going to turn around first. Because I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut back here, if I don't recall. Where'd all the guys go? Did they already walk by? 
They must have already walked by. Alright, and we got a big boy over here, so we're gonna open the gate first. Because this guy might kill me. So this is the big gate from the beginning, if you don't remember. As you can see, we, we went up that big old ladder to the, to the bonfire. Alright, so we got a big old executioner over here. And he's a bitch, let me tell you. Well, early on, he's a bitch. Uh, oh, get him! Bam! And that's a backstab. Nice. And then just... Whoo! If I wouldn't have got that backstab, what'd you drop? Oh, four blood vials, though. That's good. If I wouldn't have got that backstab, that would have been a problem. Trust me. That dude is not easy like that. <laughs> But he did the he gave me he gave me some good random new game because some, some good RNG basically because he did that grab attack so I got right behind him and hit him right behind him and punished all right so let's go back this way now all right so now we got a lot of a lot of boys oh shit what the hell wow you only took one shot bro okay. Bam! I don't like you guys, man. You guys are... Oh, you guys are rude. You little fucking bitch. Dude. Bro. Yo, this dude is fucking pissing me off. No! Thank you. Let me heal up real quick. I got R1s for you, bro. Mm-hmm. Already covered in blood. Blood vial. Okay. Super covered in blood already. <laughs> like, damn. Okay. Just red. Oh, hello. Yatta. Quick silver bullets. Nice. Always good to max that out as soon as possible. So, I'm going up the stairs, because there is a, as you can see, a grip of people back there, over there. And they're burning, like, some crazy looking, like, werewolf monster. I think it is a werewolf. Okay, if I remember, this is a good item, and there's a, yep, there's a boy. How you doing? Oop. Yes, Bloodstone Shard. That's how we upgrade weapons. Nice. Blood Vial. Oh, yeah. Bloodstone Shards. Always welcome. Okay. Whoa! What the shit, bro? Chill. Oh, I thought he was going to get me again. I was like, you son of a bitch. Okay. You hiding anything over here? What? Bro was just standing here like... <laughs> I remember that, though. Actually, the first time I played this, I was like... That shit scared the hell out of me. Alright. So we got this guy. I kind of want to take him out as fast as I can. Because there's a lot of boys coming. Okay. Chill, bruh. See, when y'all group up like that, that's not cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Oh, I can't get that yet. What's the point of being able to come over here? Is this a better angle to come at? Because they... Oh, those guys started walking that way. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the point of going this up? Oh, there's an item. Quicksilver. Alright, nice. Oh, man. Okay. I know there's a lot of bullshit down here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna max myself real quick. Okay, I don't think they noticed me yet. Blood vials. Okay, this is what we want to get rid of. Fuck you! I hate the dogs. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Fuck, now that guy's on me. Oh boy. Okay, we need to we need to 
Yeah, we need to move. There's a dog coming too, but I gotta kill this guy. Because that guy's gonna get annoying. Now let's bait them up here. Let's see if I can get a shot on him. Bam! And that's the parry right there. Oh, you don't want none now? Why don't you want to fight no more? What up, bitch? Woohoo! You want to get parried too? Dunk! <laughs> yes! Pistol. Pistol is so good. Blood vials for days. Uh, what is this? I remember this being something good. Okay, so that's basically like your consumable souls, but in this game it's um cold blood. Okay, oh, a lot of dudes here. Oh my lord, heal! Oh no! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, you fucking bitch! Bitch! Fuck! Yo, shit! Oh god, there's a bunch of guys over there. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. I was trying to do that. God, I'm gonna. I, I don't know why I get those mixed up a lot. More bullets? Yep, I knew it. Fucking. Jesus! Yarn them. What the hell? Y'all giving me pro. Oh god. Alright, come on. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Get him! I barely got out of the range. Yo, man. Get this work. And I got your ass. Punk ass biatches. We got quite a bit of blood echoes right now. I mean, it's not really nothing late game, but for beginning game, that's quite a bit to have. Alright, I think we're done with this area. I'm trying to make it to the next... Or not to the next... I think there's a shortcut actually that we in, that we get. Might be a shortcut. Um, item. Nice. I think that's enough for a plus one weapon. Blood vials for days, and we got a red light over here. Red light. <laughs> As you can hear, some uh, sounds like someone's having a party or something over here. I don't reckon you're from round here. Where I don't reckon you're from round here. Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I love the freaking voice acting. I'm pretty sure that's all she says, so... They don't really... Some of these people are just there for just to, for like to spice it up a bit, but... Uh, do I want to... Uh, there's so many branching paths, so we can break this right here. Yeah, we can go down that way and then hit a shortcut that'll lead back to the bonfire, which is what we really want in the long end. But there's a few things in this little area here with this nice-looking fountain. So we're going to, I think, grab the stuff in this area real quick. And then we'll go ahead and... Oh, crows? So these crows are weird. They, like... Their legs are like broken and they can't really fly for too long. They're like super sick or something. Oh! But they peck the shit out of you and it's annoying. Alright. Pebble, we got an item right here. Oil urn, nice. That's gonna be good for a boss that's coming up. Ooh, what's that sound? Dun 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 dun. If you have headphones on, you can probably hear that. I don't know about the fact that I turned the sound and stuff down. It might you might not be able to hear that just regularly. But if you don't recall, you probably heard that door banging when I was on the other side of it over here. And uh, yeah, this is him. So we gotta. Oh God, no. Oh God. Okay, so he these guys are best if you just parry them. And that didn't work. Try it again. What are you? There we go. I'm like, what? Ha! Huh. That was. I, I probably would have died right there if he would have got that second hit. Blood vials. Torch. Nice. 
And four Molotovs. All right, I want to put the torch on. Which I think I do here, right? And then if I... Okay, switch my gun over. All right. So yeah, torch is really cool in this game. So as you can see, got really cool lighting effects. Um, I mean, I have 20 blood vials. We're doing super good on blood vials. So I feel like we should come up here and do the rest of this. There's an item over here. Some more cold blood. That's going to be good for when we get back to the dream. Um, that sounds coming from this house right here. This is locked, I think. Yep, closed by a device. If you can see, there's actually the device is right on the other side. You just have to come from the other end. All right, so up here is a bunch of fuck shit, and I. Come here. Don't draw the attention of everything else. Okay, we drew one of them. That's good. Alright, I want to get the dog's attention. Come here. Okay, he's gonna chase me probably. And... Oh, son, you is gonna get me. Woo! All right, come on, bitch, try me. That's what I thought. There's also a system in this game where you have a like. Look, if you hit me, see how my health has like a bar, and now my health's going up after I attack. It's like a system where like when you take damage, it doesn't completely take all your health away. It gives you a little um, period to get some of your health back by either hitting, uh, attacking people, or um, basically getting a, a a parry attack, which is visceral. So anytime you hit a visceral attack, fucking dogs. Anytime you get a visceral attack, you get as long as like however full that that other part of your bar is, you'll you'll get that much health back. Um, alright, there's one more thing up, actually there's a couple things up top here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go all the way over here, we're at the top of that big bridge that we saw from the very beginning. That's what we want right there. I'm gonna come over here. As you saw, there was two fucking werewolves over there, so we don't want to really mess with that just yet. I want to grab this. I mean, we don't really need that, honestly. Pebbles suck, but this is what we want. Another Bloodstone Shard, and I think there's one more over here. Bloodstone Shard, nice. There's actually something else back there, but we're not going to do that yet. That's going to be after, probably after the first boss. But, come this way. And we got Wolf. We got Wolf's. Come on. Now they're both after me. Fucking awesome. Oh god. If I can get a parry... If I can get a parry... Get him! Get him! Yes! That's gonna help immensely. Now I just gotta get around him. Oh no. I'm dead. Yep. And I didn't get the shortcut because I'm stupid. I really was being ballsy right there. I need to go back and get those souls though. That's way too many. That's way too many to let go. Man, that that's a bad spot to die. Um... So yeah, this is called Run Runborn, where we run past everything. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh god, the frames. Oh no! Please. Just just mind your business. 
Mind your damn business. Oh my, you asshole. Of course. Let me load. I need to get back to my spot where I died. They should be de aggroing, but. I don't know for sure. Oh fuck, I forgot. This troll come. Don't kill him, anyways. Damn it. That's what I thought, bitch. Whoo! He almost killed me, and I would have lost all my blood echoes. I would have been so upset because I I grinded 2,000 out like nice little purple shade on that on that carriage there. All right, now this I want to do as fast as possible. God damn it! You got to do that. Okay. One of these guys, so soul pickups are a little bit different in this one. Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Wow, and I'm just dead. All 2,000 of those souls are gone. That's awesome. Bloodborne, guys. Why did I choose to play this game again? Like, that's... Ugh. I don't care what people say. Bloodborne is still harder than Sekiro is. Sekiro is not as hard as Bloodborne. At all. Especially in the beginning. Bloodborne is just fucking ridiculous in the beginning. And I'm not gonna sit here and re-kill everything again. Like, that's just ridiculous. So what we're gonna do is just go right to the freaking shortcut and just, you know, there's nothing for us to pick up now. As I was going to say, is uh, souls work a little bit different this time. This time you can either pick them up off the ground if they're on the ground, but sometimes it depends on where you last died. Uh, an enemy will have them and they'll have purple glowing eyes to indicate that they have your souls or your echoes. All right, so there's fucking dogs inside. There's also a dog. Okay, there he is. I'm like, there's also a dog over here. Fuck you, you stupid bitch-ass dogs. I hate dogs. Especially in Bloodborne. They're the worst in Bloodborne. Let's come this way. I think there's... Yeah. Some cold blood do. Um... Yeah, we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way because this is gonna be a shortcut. We want the shortcut. That's what we want. Is there a guy in here? Oh yeah, there is a guy in here. What up, motherfucker? Open this door. So this is crazy. Look at this guy. He's a grandpa with a fucking gun. Fucking crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> Sit down, grandpa. Quick silver bullets, pungent blood, and there's a note right here. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Old Yarnum. That's an area that we visit. Uh, I think there's something upstairs that I want real quick, and then... Fuck you, dude. Oh, hello there. I s hello? I'm like, it's not locking on. Okay. Cold blood? Okay, that's what I wanted. Now, to get some souls back, because I lost so many souls, I'm going to draw these bastards over here. What? So, draw them over here, and this little glitch right here, they can't get past. They can't get past this. As long as, as long as you stay back a certain amount, 